Fish and chips. Thousands eat it every day in the capital, but do we always know where it comes from? This is hake, a better alternative to eating from endangered stocks of cod. The restaurant where this is being cooked in North London is one of the first businesses to sign up to a charities campaign to make our city the world leader in using fish from sustainable stocks. Sustainable Fish City is a great opportunity for various restaurateurs to unite around the sustainable issues and there's so many things and so many schemes going on and I think it's just really interesting because like us there's a lot of other people who, who, who's working hard on, on being more sustainable. But could one of the capital's trendiest outlets cost London the title? Nobu has two restaurants in the city and both sell the endangered bluefin tuna. Campaigners say this makes it the worst eatery for sustainability in the UK. We weren't able to talk to anyone from Nobu on camera, but we did contact them to ask if they'd be joining the London Fish City campaign. They gave us this statement. All the fish suppliers that work with Nobu's London restaurants respect and operate within the EU's current guidelines. Some restaurants, uh, like Nobu, stop bluefin tuna. We think that's wrong because um, you wouldn't put an other endangered species on the animal, like a tiger or a rhinoceros. Sustainable fish doesn't cost more. Sustainable fish can be cheaper. A brilliant example of this is uh, whitefish. So, um, as a nation, we love cod and haddock. We can give species like cod and haddock a break by switching to other species like pollock or coley. Just as tasty and a lot cheaper. London will have achieved its fish city status if two-thirds of the fish eaten in each London borough is from sustainable sources. Joe Pike, City News.